guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a Kydex press so you can make different projects like these. Alright, so these are some of my projects I've already done. Here's a simple sheath right here. Um, this was my second ever project with Kydex. Um, I was just messing around so I could do a, uh, a bigger project like my Mora Bushcraft Black. Um, basically, this was my very first project. It was simple, and it, I needed it for a marking kydex, and it would be useful to wear as a necklace and just come up here. If my hands were full, I could just go like that and use this. And then I did this one, which um, it turns out pretty nice. I just use it for a neck knife now, um, and it works really, really well. I love it. I used it probably ten times today already. Then here's the uh, sheath for my axe or hatchet. Um, it worked really well. Um, there wasn't really any way for me to connect this um, well with the amount of kydex I did have. Um, I need to order some more, so I was kind of running on uh, tail ends at this point. Um, if I can get this thing off. Oh, yeah. So basically what I did was... Uh, I moved that all the way down so it would be tighter, which works. So you untangle that, and then you go like this, and it pops right out. Um, it is kind of a timely process, but uh, I'm patient. <laughs> I'm I'm willing to be patient for a sh um, um, a sheath like this. And uh, what what was happening is I bought it with a, a rubber tip on the end and it didn't really do anything for it and, out, and it actually broke so uh, I made this so it won't tear up the uh, inside of my bag so I'll just leave like leave it like that so all these projects were pretty much getting ready for my more of bushcraft black um, and as you can see I have a lighter in the back which is a uh, very secure I can't move it around or anything and I'm going to put a rubber band behind this thing right here so it doesn't trigger it. And here's my, uh, my, uh, oops, my fire steel. Um, and it works pretty well. Um, I don't have shock cords, so I just used a uh, hair band. Um, I saw other videos, they did it as well, and it worked really well. It uh, comes about here, so it works perfectly. As you can see, the handle did fall off. Um, it's just a Walmart barrel rod for right now. Um, it works though. And uh, I, I made this nice kick off here for your thumb. And all you do ha all you have to do, I put I uh, cut this out right here so I can put my finger there and uh, it comes off real pretty easily. Uh, one mistake I did make on this was uh, if you can see here, um, I got too close with the heat gun. And uh, that melted it, and when I put my thumb on there, it just my thumb just slid right off, and it took the top coating of the plastic or rubber rubber right off. So uh, be aware of that if you are doing this project. And basically, here I have a uh, D ring, and uh, it's just folded over Kydex. Um, there's no there's nothing keeping it down. It's all by pressure. So, um, that's been in there. I have it hasn't. I can't even get it off. So that works nicely. And here's just a simple. It's from a belt, and it works really, really well. And I also use this for a leg tie off around my thigh. So when I'm walking or running or whatever, it's really secure, and I absolutely love this sheath. Here's an Altoids tin that I made yesterday. Um, it pretty much just goes on the back of my uh, belt and what it does you can put your f finger through there all the way up until there and that's enough to grab it and uh, have a lighter fat wood uh, band-aids and other things like that and uh, it clips in pretty nicely it's not going to fall out or anything uh, same with this one and uh, yeah, this one is extremely tight. It's it's hard just to get it out, and that's even that far down. So 
that's my collection so far. Um, I'm hoping to do a lot more. Um, but let me show you how to make this Kydex press. Alright, so this is my Kydex press right now. Um, it's not the greatest thing in the world, but it does work very well. Um, simply what I used was a Walmart bed mat. And I forget how much it cost. Maybe two bucks, I don't remember. Um, and I just cut it. I used it for a while and I just cut it in pieces. Um, and that would fit this right here. The top one I did screw through so I would have this to tie off on. And uh, let's talk about the, the hinge right now. Um, what I did is I uh, screwed, I cut a bunch of uh, pieces of wood here and then screwed it through so they would all be connected. Which is not very strong, but that's alright. I'm not going to use it for big projects. Um, and then I just screwed the hinges on. And then that actually punctured this in place. So it works really well. Um, sometimes you have to make specialty uh, cutouts. Like what I did, ha what I had to do here. And what I did there is basically to get this to work. Um, to get it to uh, bend over here. Um, basically what I did, I put it here. Um, and put this through here and put one more on and then I crushed it with this like that and then I, I put all my weight on there and then tied it off here and then did some other things to it and so that tied it down and uh, that worked really really well um, so as you can see it did a really good job on this it uh, got all the uh, curves and edges that I wanted and you can almost, you can, you can read Altoids on there because it came in so clear. And that's what's really nice about that. Um, but for the most part, for any flat project or uh, I did it with my Nomura, I just pretty much just put it in there. Uh, of course, without the paracord or anything like that. Just the knife and the Kydex. Um, I, uh, I just placed it down there. I closed it real fast while it was still hot pushed down on it, tied it off here, went down again, pulled on it, and then pretty much just tied it around so it would, uh, so I wouldn't have to use a chain or anything like that. And I'm just using things that are on hand. I, uh, I think I only spent about five dollars on this project. If that. I bought two hinges because I thought I was going to use a bigger piece of wood. But I ended up not uh, not doing that, so uh, I only used one hinge, which I think cost only two bucks. And so really, I had everything on hand. This this project only cost this right here in the screw, so about about two bucks. So I'm really happy with it. This is the bottom, just one piece of wood. I would suggest not using pine. Um, I made mine out of pine, and it was I had to redo this about twice. It was, a, it was really annoying. Uh, it was already pre-painted, so I didn't do it just for the look. I, it, was, it was already painted. So, yeah, I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up, please. Um, comment if you have any questions about this. Um, I would love to talk to you about it. Um, so, yep, it, it, uh, it did a really good job, and it was cheap. Um, and that was just using a, a bed mat from Walmart and some wood. So hopefully you like this. Please subscribe. Thanks.